everybody, it's me Alice and today I'm going to show you what is in my travel makeup bag because this has been a very highly requested video and I've not actually filmed it yet so I thought that today would be a good idea to, to film this video because a lot of people like to have lots of recommendations of makeup products and I want to show you what products I have been loving lately as well. So without further ado, let's go on the video. My makeup bag is a Ted Baker one. I got this from the outlet in Chester, so like it's a Ted Baker outlet store and it's just a, like a creamy pinky light colour and it also has the logo on there and this is really big and it's really really good for taking your travels because you can put a lot of like things in it such as your makeup, your makeup brushes and like makeup remover and skincare as well so you can put literally anything you want in here and yeah so that's what this is my makeup bag. To open my makeup bag I have got a lot of makeup brushes so I have this is some Real Techniques makeup brushes, this is the Bold Metal powder brush I've got a little pointed foundation brush I've got a little like eyeliner brush for like my eyebrows this is amazing for eyebrows especially if you've got like kind of like a powder um, eyebrow like pomade or something like that it's like it's really good for eyebrows anyway and I've got a little highlighter brush from Real Techniques I've got the multitask brush to blend in my bronzer out I also have a little brush of the spoolie from Primark to do my eyebrows with and I also have a buffing brush for my foundation then I've got my little Urban Decay brush which comes in Naked Smoky. This is amazing for blending out your eyeshadow. I also have some makeup brushes from Amazon and um, you can get 12 of these for £3. So I've got these but obviously I've only got 3 of these because these are like my favourite brushes. And then I also have a little powder brush from Real Techniques and a sculpting brush. And these are all of my brushes and I basically use these every day when I do my makeup. So yeah, I, I have to take these with me. On to makeup, I've got my two staple primers which are the NYX Pore Filler Primer. If, if you watch my Boxing Day sales haul video, you will know that I got this in a set. Um, I think it was like the, the Matte Versus Glow set. This is amazing for covering your pores and I use this every day. And my other primer which I've got in my makeup bag is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base Primer. So this makes your face matte and it keeps your foundation on every day. At school, like my foundation used to come off all the time, like halfway through the day. So basically I got this at Christmas time and ever since I've used this, my foundation lasts all day. So I do recommend these two and I have to take these everywhere with me. Yeah, I have the LA Girl Foundation and the LA Girl Concealer. I bought these in Holland because I went on holiday to Holland and I bought them from a person called, I forgot who they're called, but I'm sure they're a YouTuber. I'll put the name on the screen. I'm sure I've mentioned them in the video before, but basically they have a shop in Holland where they sell makeup which isn't really available in the UK as such. So they've got LA Girl, they've got Milani, they've got other makeup brands and these were really good prices. Obviously I bought these in Euros, so in the UK you can get these from Beauty Bay for £11 and £5 and honestly the coverage on these are amazing and these two are probably my most favourite foundation and concealer. Well, Actually, I think the Kat Von D Locket Foundation is the best foundation because it literally locks on your face all day. But apart from that, these two are like my two favourite products to use. So, so yeah. here I have my Freedom Green Paste. This is basically a colour corrector and you put this on after you've primed your face and before you put foundation on. And basically this acts basically like a concealer but reduces your redness at the same time. So it's basically a two-in-one. Um, I use this every time I wear this foundation because even though the coverage is really high, sometimes it can show your spots up a little bit. So like, yeah, I just love to use this. Um, and this is £5 from... Boots and Superdrug, I, I believe. I think you can get it in Superdrug and it's amazing. And as you can tell, I've got nothing left in it, kind of. So, do I need to get a new one? I swear, every time I speak, these bands, you can just hear them. I don't know if you can hear. Can you hear that? <laughs> I'm, I'm making like really weird like mouth movements right now. Yeah, but... I have my collection pressed powder. I use this for powdering my face and powdering my like under my eyes as well because I don't use a loose powder just because the cake under my eyes a lot. It's just amazing and two pounds for a powder. It's just amazing. And collection is well known for their for their um, concealers, but mine's run out at the moment and they've never had them in stock when I go and see the drug and boots. So I'm like. I just have to wait or order it online with every other makeup product I need as well. But yeah. So I also have my Maybelline Master Sculpt. I use this for bronzing my face. I don't use the highlight shade but I do use the bronzer shade and as you can tell I'm slowly hitting pan almost. But honestly this is the most natural beautiful bronzer ever. I if you can I've, I've got it on today. All of these products in my makeup bag I have used because they're like my staple makeup products. 
Um, but as you can tell, it's like a lovely bronzer colour. I really feel like me. <laughs> like, you'll find that most bronzers are either orange or too dark for you. But honestly, this one is the best bronzer I've had. And this has lasted me over a year and it's, it hasn't hit pan yet. So I do recommend this one. And plus it comes with a little brush as well. So you just open it up like this and it comes with a brush. So if you if you do, if you don't really have any makeup brushes, this will always come in handy. But it's probably not the best brush, but it's always good for a beginner. So yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I have my Revolution highlighter. As you can tell, the packaging's came off a lot because it's worn off. But this is my Revolution highlighter in Radiant Lights. It's a vivid baked highlighter. This is a lovely natural glow, so you can wear this for school and you want you like you see that you like makes you look like you've got a lovely natural glow. As you can tell, I've got it on today, and it's really pretty and really subtle. And this is basically like the pinky colour. And as you can tell, I've hit pan because it's just like one of my favourite highlighters. Just because it's just really pretty and just really nice and it isn't in your face as well. Because I have seen a few people lately where they've had their highlighter literally blinding you. And and seriously, when I mean blinding you, you've got to wear like your sunglasses. It is ridiculous. Like, come on girl. Yes, highlight is amazing. You can never have too much highlight. But if it's going to be like like blinding, like you need to, you need to tone it down a little bit. Yeah, please do not blind yourself. Next in my makeup bag, I have my NYX eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure which one this is, but it says Look Set 18. So I'm guessing that is the name of the palette. But I got this in another set in the Boxing Day sales. Basically, it came with a NYX lingerie, this, and I'm sure it came with something else i think it's like a lip balm i'm not sure but it came with something else as well and this is really like really nice one of my favorites because this is basically a tube for the morphe 35 o palette but obviously it only has six out of like the 22 shades in here but honestly it's got like a red an orange a brown like nude colors and like a shimmery color and this is really pretty as well so the final this. few things i have in my makeup bag is the NYX Tame and Frame Eyebrow Pomade. This is in the shade Blonde and this is from NYX and this is £6. It's honestly, it's a dupe for the Anastasia, um, like the Deep Brow Pomade. It's really nice. I also have my mini, um, the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've got it on today and it just makes your lashes look really nice. Like I remember I used to hate this mascara but like now I love it just because it's just really good and yeah, I just really like it and yeah. This is really cute as well. So the final thing which is in my makeup bag is my NYX lingerie lipstick in lace detail. I got it on today and it's just like a lovely light pink colour but it's really pretty. And you can basically wear it for every like makeup look basically. It's so pretty and there's a car beeping outside, can you not? But yeah, this is amazing and yeah, I love that. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Every day, every day, every day